Right now, one of the projects that we're starting to work on is integrating tech, uh, Twitter and social media devices like Facebook and Tumblr into the classroom. Uh, right now, what we're doing with Twitter is that we're posting feeds about what the expectations of the classroom are, what, when the due dates are. Kids are able to tweet me, oh, Miss Amitrani, I forgot my homework. Can you please post a pic of it? If we didn't understand the lesson or if we needed um, any, any copies of anything, like let's say if we forgot our homework or anything, we, we would actually tweet her on Twitter and we would, she would respond and give us a picture of the lesson that we needed to copy down or the lesson of the homework. I can post a, a quick pic in less than 30 seconds. The, the, the communication between student and teacher has already happened. Uh, tutorials have also happened on Facebook where kids have asked me uh, little posts. I don't understand how to do problem number two and I can offer them extra links on the website also. So social media in the classroom I think is an excellent tool. Uh, I, I, I'm glad that uh, HCIC is, is opening that up to us teachers and allowing us to use that in the classroom. We really like Twitter and Facebook because it gives us a lot more tutoring and expecta expectations for our work to help us increase and succeed more. Some of the feedback from parents uh, are the same from previous years. I can't help my kid. I don't remember how to do this. They're at home asking me these questions and the, the, my child is telling me that's not how my teacher is teaching it. So what I'm doing is I'm using LiveScribe Pen where I'm recording my notes and my voice lecture of the way that I go over the problems so, and posting that on the Twitter site and linking it to the Facebook so that the kids can see how, get, get a refresh on how we went over it in the classroom. LiveScribe, it's a pen and what the pen does, it, it records on a special piece, you write on a special piece of paper, it has these little dots and when you record, when you write on the paper, it records as you're writing and the voice that's going along with the writing at the same time. So it's like viewing the lecture all over again with the notes, because oftentimes you look at the notes, but you don't have that audio, that audio support. So LiveScribe in integrates that audio support. And it's also now one of, the new, uh, one of the new features is that it's PDF accessible. You can play the PDF also. So that's a neat thing too. Parents love that they don't have to be experts in geometry. They just need to allow their kid to click on a link and review the notes. And some of the kids are loving it too because I know sometimes it's 10 o'clock at night and you're like, where's my homework paper? And I'll get a, a quick uh, tweet about Ms. Amatrani and where's my homework? And th they're able to complete their homework and turn it in on time the next day. So I think the kids really enjoy having that access. It has increased a lot of my grades. Um, it's got me more into learning because it gives me things I like to do and keep up with the social network. I actually like this style of teaching because, I mean, it's, it's more fun and it's better for, for you and for others. I mean, personally, I mean, it, it's helping me out a lot. It is new for them, so we're, we're slowly starting to uh, explore it. And I think over time, more and more kids, once they see that, what it's capable of doing, they're really going to enjoy this. There's a lot of negative backlash on some of that interaction with the teacher and the student in the media. But we have to remember first and foremost that we are teachers, that we are here to help our students, and this is just another great tool to do that. And I think if you maintain a professional decorum, a professional environment, and you let your administrators know what you're doing in the, in the, on these sites, and that you're involving the parents most especially, parents are providing us emails on the Teacher Access Center, and if we use those emails and let them know about the social media sites that are out there, I think that'll help you cover your basis and help you uh, work with the parents also and not just the students. So I, 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 I say don't be afraid, just give it a try. She's the only teacher I've ever had that uses Facebook or Twitter or any internet technology. Um, it has helped me a lot succeed and I really like it. I'd prefer more teachers to use it as I go on during school. I encourage other teachers to do this because it makes it not only easier for us but easier for the teachers by, um, by just uh, giving us new things to learn about and new ways of learning. Seven o'clock, I'm sitting on the couch, I'll use my phone, tweet, don't, don't forget to do your homework. And that's when I think I, I get some of the replies to, oh, what, what assignments were we supposed to do? Where was the homework? So connecting the, the students to the classroom, even outside the classroom. Because students, they're not just learners in the classroom, they're learners outside the classroom. They have social lives, they have uh, events with their parents and other family members. So it keeps us all connected.